at incidents involving hazardous materials or weapons of mass destruction, emergency responders may come in contact with contaminants, whether gases, liquids, solids, or radioactive materials. Civilians, equipment, and the environment may be contaminated as well. Hazardous waste site workers may come in contact with hazardous substances during the course of their work. As part of the effort to control contamination, emergency action must be taken to make victims, personnel, their equipment, and the environment as safe as possible by the removal or isolation of contaminants. This process is called decontamination, or decon. It is important not only for the protection of response personnel and civilians, but also to prevent the transfer of contaminants to clean areas. This program is called Decon Team. It's designed to provide training and assistance to emergency responders, hospital staff, military personnel, and remediation workers who may be assigned to carry out decontamination activities. The program will cover the duties of the decontamination unit supervisor, how to select and set up the decon area, personal protection for decon team members, decontamination methods, and procedures for decontamination of victims, personnel, and equipment.